Hello my friends, how are you? I'm Fred Silva and welcome to one more episode of Silvacast. Today I will talk to Alexandra, she's from Italy and she was from zero to speaking English with confidence in just six months. So if you want to know what she did, stay with me during this episode and I'll tell you everything. Hello Alexandra, how are you doing my friend? Good to see you here. Hello, Fred. I'm super happy to be here. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for accepting my invitation. It's a pleasure to have you here. I think we have interesting things to, to talk today because, you know, a lot of things that you are doing now related to English, I am passionate about it and I think you are doing a great job. So We'll tell uh, the audience later what you were doing. That's so amazing. And first of all, please introduce yourself. Uh, tell us who you are, where you live, and everything. Yeah, first of all, thanks so much. Uh, it's a great honor to be here. And I'm incred incredibly grateful to you for giving me this big opportunity. And I'm Alexandra, I'm from Italy, I live in Pesaro, the region is called Marche, and I love a lot my city because it's situated close to both mountains and at the sea, so in only 10 minutes I can be at the beach, beach by bike and 15 minutes to the mountains by car, and in addition, there are wonderful villages here uh, near to my city. And I'm really lucky for that because I'm also a natural lover. But uh, however, my roots aren't Italian, but are Romanian because I was adopted by Italian parents when I was two years. And uh, if uh, I'm honest, I had... Uh, hard life, uh, full of, of obst obstacles, but uh, I think that sometimes uh, the life can be difficult, not only for me, for everyone. So I realized that these difficulties made me feel stronger, and now I am a better person. I try to see always the life in positive way, and... Uh, yeah, this is my little uh, introduction and uh, super happy to be here. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit about you. Uh, I can see that you have uh, like a different personality because you, I noticed that you get like problems and you turn these problems into opportunities. And I think for people that are uh, people that are studying English, this is really important because, you know, what we have more in this journey is obstacles. We have a lot. We have a lot of difficulties. We have a uh, challenge every time, but I can see that you have a uh, good mentality for that and not, not in only your English learning journey, but in your life too. And maybe this helped you to be more stronger and, you know, unstoppable in this aspect. So yeah, in fact, please. it's only about uh, our mindset. Uh, so absolutely, we I changed a lot, uh, especially after studying English. Uh, so English helped me so much, not only for my English journey, but for my entire life. Uh, so it was incredible sometimes the life uh, when you try to do something and at the end you will change completely. And speaking about English, uh, when did you start, when did you start to study English and why you, you did that? Yeah. If I'm honest, I start uh, last year for for really to study English because unfortunately I didn't have uh, good teachers at the school. But I always loved the English, listening to music in English, uh, and especially to realize my big dream. So because I'm building a startup, so it's a, like a roller coaster life. Someday I can feel super motivated and the other day I can feel 
so bad, so frustrated, uh, that uh, you can imagine that uh, for my job, I must speak all in English. So at mm -hmm. the beginning, I was so motivated, but for me, it was uh, like a mission impossible to learn it. Uh, and uh, last January, I saw Adar on my Instagram that she is the rock star of English teachers. Uh, and uh, I wanted to build uh, her course, uh, but I didn't understand her, unfortunately. So I, at uh, that right moment, I promised myself to work hard every single day, day to learn English and at the end to buy this amazing other course. And in the meantime, I bought also some different English courses with one-to-one -one quotes, but I never felt comfortable with my English. I had many frustration, many anxieties because I didn't see any results with this new language. But when I joined uh, at uh, the other course, uh, my life uh, changed completely. Wow, we'll talk more about this later. But I, I am impressed with the fact that you just started studying English last year. And right now, less than one year later, you are speaking English in a very comfortable way without no fear, no hesitation. You told me that this is the first time you are in an interview in English. So this it's is incredible. My first time to receive Ever. an interview uh, of my entire life. So it's a big Not just in English. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I love challenges a lot. Yeah, I think we have a lot of in common. And this is one of, one of the things that I love the most. And uh, I will talk a little bit about this. I want to talk a little bit about this with you because you are doing something that is really, really incredible. And I want to tell my audience about this because a lot of people that follow me, they are afraid to speak. They, they want to speak. They need to speak. However, they are afraid to open their mouth. They, they are not confident to speak, you know, uh, as maybe you are in, in, in the past, uh, one year ago. And right now, you are doing a, a big challenge that uh, I think is wonderful you are recording yourself in English for 145 days in a row without any pause. Every day you are there, every day you record a new video, every day you speak in English in front of camera. And guys, this is not a simple thing. It's not easy to do. Uh, Alexandra, Alexandra, could you explain a little bit about this challenge? Why did you decide to start it and how it, it's, it's going? Please let, let us know. Yeah. Of course, I want to start at the beginning because five months ago, uh, my life changed uh, thanks to my cousin because she gave me the best present of my entire life. Uh, so she bought the other English course for me. And it was, I think, the biggest surprise that I received. And uh, at that right moment, Okay, I was ready to, to do challenges and finally I'm ready to do it because last year I couldn't buy this course because I didn't understand her and I decided from day one that at that precise moment it was my turn, keep going on, be focused and be strong, work constantly every single day and for this reason I accepted uh, the daily video challenge. So every single day I recorded myself uh, also during holidays, weekend, uh, always uh, and uh, at the beginning, I remember sometimes uh, it was really hard because uh, now I record myself in only 10 minutes, but at the beginning uh, it was okay, probably one hour and I thought, but it didn't work for me, but I didn't understand behind about it because 
if uh, I want to learn a new language, it's a big goal. So I need to be patient, work constantly, and I can see the result, but I need to wait. So the time uh, can, uh, can see me my great result because six months ago, I didn't speak in English. So I started this challenge uh, when I joined uh, at uh, New Sound, and uh, this challenge was only for 90, day, 90 days. But at the end, given that I really like uh, to learn uh, this new habit, I wanted to continue. And so until uh, today, I referred myself, and I think. Uh, it's the best activity because it's completely different uh, with the one-to-one -one conversation because uh, with one-to-one -one conversation, I can uh, make more mistakes and of course, I can learn from them. But when you record yourself, uh, I pay more attention about my tone of voice, my intonation, how how I can uh, compose the sentence, uh, so about everything. So I think uh, it's the best uh, practice uh, to be constant in English every single day. And, and uh, before it, I didn't record myself, not, uh, uh, not only my native language. So I'm really proud of myself and I want you to should be I wanna continue with it. You should be really proud of yourself. And right now I have a lot of questions in my mind about this because this is a topic that I really love. And I tell everybody, record yourself, start to speak, start to, to do this. This is the easiest way to practice. You don't need to ask for anybody to talk to you. You can record yourself and see how it's going. And the first thing that comes to my mind is when you start to record ourselves, I did that in the past also. I record myself uh, almost every day just to, to improve my English. And one thing that I noticed is in, at the beginning, we try to pretend to be someone else, not ourselves. We, we try to be perfect. So, and this doesn't help us because we felt like, oh, that's not good. And then we record once, we record twice, third times. We record a lot of times and it's not good enough. It's not good for us. However, when you start to just being yourself, just record Fred, just record Alexandra, yeah. everything changed. I think, well, and we start to speak in a natural way. And of course, not perfectly because... We are not perfect, but when you, when we are ourselves, things change. How is this for with you at the beginning? How was your difficult? Because you said that you record 10, 10 times. You try to, to, to do that a lot of time and now it's so much easier. So how it was in the beginning and what did you change to be uh, right now recording you very confidently? Yeah, because now I feel more confident with my English, with my pronunciation, with my voice, with everything, uh, thanks to other course, of course. And uh, probably uh, the, um, I think that the, the best, uh, um, the best, uh, advice that I want to share with everyone is that we need to find a safe environment like uh, other community because it's different if you record yourself and you don't share with uh, nobody. It's completely different because when I shared my first post, I remember that, wow, I did it and I watched it and I edited it a lot. But at the beginning, of course, it's obvious that I, I didn't uh, feel confident. And probably I think uh, that uh, now I, 
I'm I feel like an influencer, so I speak about everything, my life, my thoughts, my problems. So probably for this reason, when you start to speak about your life, this is the uh, the change when you can be more confident with yourself. I think. Yeah, you said something that's uh, it's true for me as well. That is a, uh, I I tell everybody that you need to be surrounded by good people, by people that will support you. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in a course or in a community or in a WhatsApp group, whatever. If you are surrounded good people, if you are surrounded people that really cares about you, care about you, they want to support you. It's a good place for you to start to do things like that because. Of course, at the beginning, it's not going to be perfect. You will make mistakes, but those people will encourage you. They will say, good job, do it again, keep doing, don't stop. And this gives us uh, motivation to continue to do. At the beginning, it was the same with me. Uh, I was surrounded to people that could uh, support me in this way. So every time when I record a video when I show up on camera anybody said Fred good job you are doing great you, you're keep you're improving so keep doing and that was like full for me I, I I got so energetic I got so happy and I got like wow this is a good thing this is the right path so let's keep going let's keep going and this helped me a lot and I see with you the same the same pattern uh, of course, I'm not so diligent like you. I never record myself for 145 days in a row. I never did that. I am not so focused like you because I think a lot of people are 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 the same. They they are not able to continue to do the same thing. So how how can you are able to to be so committed like this? to do this for over than a, a hundred days, which is incredible. So what do you think about this? Uh, what's the reason you, you didn't give up? You, you, you keep doing this until now. Thanks a lot for your kind words, first of all, but I think that uh, it motivated me so much, uh, my mindset, because I changed the completely my mindset and then I realized that, okay if I do every single day this practice I can improve English so I need to be constant I need of course to set my my day and so I set and I know that every single day in this right hour I need to do it so it's uh, required a lot of uh, organization and also probably they motivated me, the comments uh, uh, from the community because I wanna like uh, it, today I spoke uh, that uh, for me it's my first interview in English in my, on my daily videos and I told my, at my community, okay, tomorrow I want to speak about this interview. So it's like, uh, because uh, with comments, uh, probably I can feel uh, I can have uh, more power. And uh, probably I found uh, the hidden power that I had, but I never imagined to have it. So yes, it all depends uh, on your mindset. And of course, it's impossible uh, uh, not to find 10 minutes per day to record yourself. It's impossible because uh, the day is composed uh, for 20, 24 hours. So we can do it. Uh, it's all about uh, us, I think. There is an expression in English that it it is uh, another day, another dollar. But for you, is another day, another challenge because you, exactly. every day you try to be something different and 
you try to challenge yourself and this is really good yeah absolutely good uh i'm uh i'm so impressed with with this challenge that you are doing now i i think this is a, a thing that everybody should do it because if they want to increase their their confidence and everything and you use a you use it in a a word that i really love that's power i think challenge yourself and being like exposed like this give us power power to communicate in a better way power to uh, express our ideas and we feel like i don't know how can i say this but that we feel like very good we feel feel like we have power to give uh to other people our, our thoughts maybe to to encourage them with uh, our example so i think yeah i think power is a good way to a good word to describe this because if you challenge yourself on a daily basis doing something like this you will feel yourself very powerful you you feel yourself very uh, comfortable and in and, and very uh how can i say very positive you know so i like this this type of things how how do you uh, choose uh, a subject to talk about it it's, uh, it's like something that you think a lot or how do you choose those ones uh for my daily videos you mean? yeah uh, okay of course there are some questions uh, on uh, the other course uh, so three questions uh, per week, but all in this course, because in previous course, uh, in New Sound, there weren't uh, these questions. So I try because I love to be creative, to, to try to share my opinions about life, because given that I had many obstacles, uh, I want to share with uh, uh, it with uh, everyone so i i write uh, at the beginning of of my daily videos some bullet point that i want to discuss and no more because i want to have uh, um, a script that there is at the start and uh, the the final but now I be, I I'm 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 more fluent, so for me it's easier than at the beginning because at the beginning I spent one hour more or less, but I know that okay, it's okay because I never did it before it, so it's okay. I need to be patient, but uh, with time. I can see the result, but I need to wait. Uh, and sometimes uh, I remember that, okay, I can do it today. I want to finish. But uh, at the end, uh, it was like, okay, I need I need to do it. Uh, it's my habit. I, I learned a lot of English, so I, I deserve it. So this is my concept behind uh, my daily videos. I think this is the key. Uh, it needs to, to be a habit. Yeah. Because you, you did for so many days in a row, every day you did. Right now it's so much easier because it's a, it's a habit. Before it was like you push yourself to do it. It, it, it takes a lot of time to, to finish a video. You, you are not confident to do it. However, with the time, every day you do, every day. So it's normal to be more easy to, to do. Now I think you, you are so comfortable to do. It's not a big of deal doing a, a video like this. Uh, but there is something in your videos that catch my attention. And I think this is one of the reasons you do it very well and very comfortable. I never saw you sit yourself in front of a camera, like in a, in a room and talk to the camera. I always see you in a in a situation that you are very comfortable, uh, you know, walking with dogs or close to the nature in a very uh, informal situation. You are in an environment that you like to be. You are not like, I'll sit here. 
I will put myself here and then I'll talk to camera. This is so hard. However, the way you do, like I'm just living my life. I'm walking with, with my dogs. So I get the, the phone and I record myself. It's so much easier because it's natural. And uh, you pass this on the video. So I like this aspect. And I think this is one of the reasons you are so good doing that, you know. Thanks. In fact, dogs uh, add me uh, so much because I'm also dog sitter and dog trainer. So in many of my videos, I, uh, I use uh, my dogs uh, to stay with me, to be more comfortable because when I'm with dogs, uh, I feel better. So for me, I, I, wa I wanted uh, to... Uh, to, to integrate also dogs uh, to to feel better with myself probably yeah and for you that are watching now if you want to start to record yourself find a place that you are comfortable find a place that well, nobody will will see you if you don't want uh find a good place for do that because you will see more that's not a big of deal it's uh, it's a good place for you do that and you start to be more confident. So the place matters a lot. So it's important to find a place that you are comfortable comfortable to, to do this challenge because it's not easy at all. So you need to be comfortable doing that. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Alexandra, tell me something. Uh, what's your biggest challenge now uh, when, when it comes to English? I know you, you didn't speak English six months ago at all. And right now you, you're speaking very confident. So, but I I'm still know that you have challenges uh, when it comes to English. So what are your challenges now? Yeah, because I'm a girl that I love setting uh, weekly and monthly goals. Uh, so like uh, this mo month, uh, I set uh, the goal to speak with uh, communities. Like uh, this uh, week, I have more or less 20 goals uh, with uh, community. And I think uh, uh, for my next daily videos, I want to use more vocabularies that uh, I know a lot of vocabularies, but sometimes I use the same vocabularies. So now I want to be more focused on my daily videos. So to try to add new vocabularies. And also I want to uh, uh, do more interview like it. And I have also another interview with Hadar. So I think... Uh, I every single week I want to set uh, a bigger goal. So for me, uh, now it's my biggest goal. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, I need uh, to change every single week my goal uh, because if uh, I set uh, uh, a goal for one year, it's uh, too big, probably. We need uh, to have uh, small tasks, but uh, we can do it. Uh, it uh, required uh, to be miserable uh, and not, uh, okay, I want to be fluent in English. It's not the right goal. We need to set uh, the right goal. Uh, like uh, for me, I want to participate uh, and so speak uh, with a lot of uh, people in this community. And okay, I can miserable this goal. And so, yeah, I want to set a mis miserable goal uh, to, to continue to keep going with my English. Uh, and probably I want to next month, month uh, I want to also be like host uh, in this uh, uh, course. Uh, so, yeah, I have... Uh, big uh, bigger goals uh, for my next uh, weeks yeah i think to improve uh, our english it's important to set really really uh big goals because if it's easy to achieve what is the challenge on this it's not it's not uh, you need to to choose something that will scare you 
because you will grow. When you do hard things, you grow. So I usually, I usually say that uh, if you do just easy things, your life's going to be hard. However, if you do uh, hard things, your life is going to be so much more easy. So I think it's important to, you know, as you mentioned, not miserable goals, but big goals that I can achieve and see that I'm improving. So, and, uh, and I see that you, you are like this. You want to make things that are really hard to do because you will improve so much, right? Yeah, exactly. And another thing that you, you spoke about, uh, about uh, small goals, not, not goals for a long term. I remember uh, something. I know you are, you are a vegetarian, but don't worry about that. It's just a comparison. Uh, I, I, re I read in a book uh, that, called, that says the best way to eat a, an elephant is in pieces in, in small pieces because if you you have the elephant it's your big goal if you have a big goal you need to to split in small goals and then in a, in a year you can have the whole health elephant you have your whole uh goal however if you just try to do the big thing sometimes you don't achieve yeah exactly. and you get frustrated so it's important of course, and especially we need to set these small tasks, but we need to see if we achieve it at the end of the week, because it's crucial point, I think. We need to see, okay, this week I achieved my goal, okay, so I can skip for my next goal. Instead, if I don't achieve it, I need to understand why I didn't achieve it, the reason. So, yeah. Okay, tell me about this. I noticed that you are so confident. I, I think it's hard to find somebody that's so, so confident like you. You know, it's, a, it's difficult to, to find people... Uh, confident to speak in English or another language. How did you develop this? Uh, what, what was the point that you, that you changed in your life that, you know, it is natural or you develop this? I think it's natural because only now I realized that I speak with you and okay, six months ago, I didn't speak in English. Wow, it's incredible. So I think uh, you, I can't see uh, the result uh, in a small, uh, in a few times uh, and only, only six months uh, I can see it. Uh, so we don't uh, think uh, and we don't pay a lot of attention about it because if we focus only on it, we can't see them i think so it's a natural process yeah and how how do you handle with your mistakes because i know i know that's not easy sometimes for for some people how how do you handle with it because you know mistakes sometimes can paralyze us we 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 can't move because we're making mistakes so how do you handle with it when I make a mistake, I try to understand, okay, why did I make this mistake? And I found the right solution. And I think the best technique to improve your English, English is uh, to make mistakes. So it's fundamental. And probably I I'm really lucky because I have the photographic memory. So I yes. remember everything about my mistakes. So for this reason, I'm really lucky. But we also for this reason, it's fundamental to record yourself, to watch this record, to see if we can make mistakes or that's it. Yes. Yeah. So it's crucial. You know, uh, I need to tell you something. Uh, I don't like to watch myself. 
Yeah. I don't like it. It's kind of I don't know why. Uh, but you have a splendid and amazing voice. Why? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't like to to watch myself. I don't know why. I, I just don't feel comfortable when I'm watching. I know it's important, you know, to see uh, the mistakes and everything and to try to to change something. But I don't know. I, I think it's because I always been very shy and and I I. I didn't like to be on spot. I, you know, I was just behind the scenes in everything that I do, uh, that I did in my life. So, and I think I am not used it with it yet. So to be, you know, on spot and to be uh, the center of attention, I think I, I'm still uh, getting used with it. And yeah, I, I need to change it, this because I think it's important, but I, I, I just don't like it <laughs> now. Yeah, but now probably because... I didn't see your video at the beginning on um, your English journey, and I'm really curious. By the way, yeah, when someone uh, is shy, it's all about our mindset, I think. Yeah. So I think at the beginning, everyone uh, have the same path, so everyone made mistakes at the beginning so we need to think okay i'm not alone we are in the same boat so it's all about me i need we need because everyone has this power behind uh, into us so we need to find it and then uh, trust me, because uh, I, we can feel more confident when we find it. Yeah, find your power. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I, I love this word, as I mentioned. It's power is a beautiful word. And the meaning is, is good. And uh, I think English gives us this power, you know, to communicate with others. Uh, we were talking about this a few days ago, that it's incredible. Uh, we don't We don't talk each other language but we can communicate in another way that's english and i think this is why why english is so uh so important because you know i can speak with uh, a person that is from egypt i don't speak arabic at all but and they don't speak portuguese but i can talk to them in english i think english is, is a beautiful language and uh, it's a really powerful tool in in our lives now so yeah, English uh, can open more doors uh, yeah. for us, uh, and uh, I think uh, it's uh, my life uh, uh, changed completely after learning English. Probably because now in this year, uh, everyone speaking English uh, on our social, our socials. Uh, so. If uh, like uh, I, uh, at the beginning, uh, I wanted to read something about my job, but I couldn't read them because oh, everything uh, were in English. So I, I thought, okay, but how can I do that? So I need to improve English for myself, for my future, especially. Yeah, you are a, a good uh, example uh, of a person that really push push yourself in a good way. And because I think a lot of people are there studying English for 10 years and they are not able to, to speak. And you said that you last year you didn't speak English at all. And right now you are speaking in a podcast uh, for the first time, but speaking in a good way, very confident. And, and you, know, you are giving your, your voice here. So I think this is really, really incredible. Um, and I want to ask you, this is the last question. I want to ask you about this. If you could give just one piece of advice for those people that are studying English for so long and they are not able to speak yet, they are stuck, what you would, would say to them? Okay, I love this question. And I think... Uh... The crucial point uh, is speak, speak, speak. No more because, okay, 
the, there are grammar, uh, uh, listening, uh, understanding, uh, but uh, the main point, I think, it's all about speak with a safe environment where you, you can feel well, where they help, uh, they will help you a lot. So I think uh, it's all about uh, practicing every single day because it's fundamental. If we wanna, and if we set a big goal, so like learn new language, we need to be patient, we need to work hard a lot and not like, okay, this week I can't find the time. No, it's impossible because during the, uh, the week uh, there are too many hours. So, and I think uh, only 10 minutes per day and no more. And then at the beginning, 10 minutes per day, next month, 20 minutes, uh, step by step, uh, day by day, but the constancy, the constancy is uh, the key, I think. Yeah, the constant uh, and the it's the key. And I think all of a sudden you notice that I'm using English without any problem, without, I don't think that I'm speaking in English. It's natural to me because you, uh, you are uh, consistent. Uh, you have you had consist. Sorry, consistency. Every day you are doing that. So I think this is one of the most important things, and one of the most hardest things to do, because to be consistent is not easy at all in anything we we are doing in life. English, <laughs> I can I can count in 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 uh, in in the fingers of one hand people that are consistent. Uh, studying English. So whatever, if they are recording videos or if they are doing something else, it's so hard to find people that are consistent. So I think you are a great example of a, a person that maintain the consistency. And I want to see your English in one year because in six months, you improve so much. How is this going to be in one year? So I think it's going to be amazing. So thank you. Thanks so much. In addition, the last thing, stop to translate with your native language yeah. in English. It's the bad things. At the beginning, I translated on my native language, but now, okay, I realized, okay, probably it's obvious at the beginning that I translated it, but, but when I realized I needed to change it, the, my English uh, ch changed a lot. You installed uh, English in your mind, so now you don't need to translate it again. Exactly. That's it. My friend, I want to say thank you so much for being here with, with me today. It was a great conversation. I love to hear from you about your experience. And I think this interview will inspire a lot of people to do the same and start to push themselves, you know, to challenge themselves to do something that's re really uh, we led them then to toward the, the, their dreams because it, you know it's hard to do what you you are doing now and I think it's a it's a good example of uh, consistency and thank you so much for being so kind and accept my invitation. If you want to say something, please uh, you are free to do it. Yeah, thanks so much, Fred. Uh, it, it was amazing to be here for my first interview. So guys, a uh, little advice, the last advice. Uh, see me now, I'm speaking with Fred uh, after six months. Uh, so guys, if we wanna do something, we can do whatever we want. It's all about my our mindset. So yeah, this is my last advice. Thank you so much. And guys, thank you for being with us until now. God bless all of you. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.